what's up army nation welcome to the channel this is your girl princess army so today we're gonna talk about will chris and jada at the oscars let's go <laughs> Okay, Army Nation, so today I'm going to be talking, I know you guys have been seeing this everywhere, all over the place, everybody talking about it, Will and, J Will and Chris, Will and Chris, so let me give you guys a little backstory, okay, on this whole thing, so in 2016, which I'm going to show you guys uh, like a picture or something like that, but okay, Chris Rock hosts the Oscars in 2016. And one of his joke was, Rihanna, Rihanna boycotting the Oscars. It's like me and Rihanna pants. I wasn't invited. So he basically saying she want to boycott the Oscars. <laughs> Why would she do that? She wasn't invited. So I just want to know who wrote that joke. Because how did Chris know Jada wasn't on the list? But anyways, um, now that's what happened in 2016. Okay, now fast forward. <laughs> Fast forward to now 2022. Chris is up there on stage. You know, first he made, he was talking to Denzel, you know, and then he was like, I think he said Training Day was one of his favorite movies. It was so good, real good. They got a seat and stuff like that. Then he got to Penelope Cruz and her husband and he was saying stuff. He said, if he lose, she can't win. They got to hear about it. And you know, a little soft joke, soft joke, you know, then he got to, you know, Will and Jada is there too in the front. I guess whoever is nominated sits in the front. I don't know. I don't normally watch the Oscars. Um, so now Will and Jada in the front, right? So he's saying, um, Jada, I love you. J.I. Jane too. Can't wait to see it. And he's and then he like, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That was a good one. And then Will got up. No, first the camera shows showed Jada's face. She was like, "What?" No, Will was like, "I don't know." If, I mean, look, look at me. This is a fake laugh. It's a fake laugh. It's not like it was. <laughs> he was. You see how easy you can fake it. Um, and Jada was like. So then Chris was like, that's a good one. That was a good one. Uh oh, uh oh, Will got up there and he went. Slapped him and went and sat back down. So that's the moment. That's the viral moment that everyone is talking about. Um, So that's what happened. I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about it. This is what I feel. Violence is wrong and all Will... I feel like he worked so hard for 30 years, three decades, 30 years being America's good boy, a role model, a role model to so many. Even in West Philadelphia, where he's born and raised, you know, there they even have this portrait of him. Like they look up to him. So many people around the world look up to him. So this was like a slap in the face to everybody that looked up to him. You know, we never in a million years would have thought that he would do something like that. Now, and then also... I'm not sure what the security, where's the securities? Like, I get it, Will is an A-list celebrity, um, but he freely just walked up there on stage. Like, what did they expect Will was going to do? What did they think he was going to do? Did they think he was going to go up there and shake Chris Rock's hand? Like, what did they think he was going to do? They should have stopped him from going up there on stage. You know? But anyways, they didn't stop him. And yeah, he slapped Chris. It was wrong to me. It was very wrong. Will is wrong for slapping Chris. I'm not going to see him make any excuses for Will Smith. He was very wrong. Violence does not solve anything. Because as you know, you know, he's not a violent person. This guy named August and Tina, whatever his name is, don't really care. Um, not a fan of his. The way he do things is just, you know. But anyways, when August came out, um, I want to say this was back in 2018. Back in 2018 or 2019, he came out saying him and Jada 
had a thing going on jada said it was an entanglement and this whole thing was going on it, like it was so embarrassing well and i watched jada sat there in the red table talk and disrespect will that saying basically you know yeah they had an her and august they had an affair and everything and she just wanted to feel good i'm looking at her like heffa really you got a whole husband sitting right here and you're going to say you messed with this young man, August, because you wanted to feel good and you were married. That would just, that's just so disrespectful. I mean, then he could have, but he didn't have a chance to really, you know, slap August because everybody's like, well, why you didn't slap August when he, he slept with your wife? Chris just made a joke. Um, you know, and it, 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 it's just it's just a very crazy situation like now will is just it's just it's just a sad situation so now will is gonna have to face the consequences the oscars they're gonna have a meeting um the board they're gonna have a meeting in two weeks and they're gonna term what determine what they're gonna do i know chris rock's brother Ken, um kenny came forward and he said will should lose his oscars and all of this stuff and i don't think will deserve to lose his oscar and, but I do deserve, um, believe that he deserved to be punished because I don't want people around the world to feel like, okay, you could just go up on the Oscars and slap somebody that you don't like. I mean, of course he deserved to be punished, but his Oscar, he worked very hard for that Oscar for 30 years. Okay, so he deserved it. That's his. I don't think they need to take his Oscar away, but I feel like they should suspend him from the Oscars. Um, not ban him permanently, but suspend him at least, uh, I don't know, a six year suspension or something where he cannot be on the premises. Whether he's nominated for anything, he's not allowed to go. You know? And I know a lot of people are saying, well, why didn't the police escort him out of the building? Why was he allowed to stay and go on stage and win the grant, you know, except his Oscar? But the thing is, I guess, you know, when during a commercial break, um, they went up to Chris and they said, Did you want to press charges? And Chris Rock said no. I mean, I know on some level, Chris have to think like he was wrong too. It's a form of bullying. He just keep talking about Jada. Every time he get on this damn Oscar stage, he keep talking about Jada. Like, come on. Like, Will, for some reason, I don't know what was said before they went there. I don't know how Will and Jada lived their life. I don't know what was said to make Will think, you know, just this American nice guy. Like, he went from Disney Channel to BET, okay? Will went, I mean... He, we all, the, the world, the America, we look at him like, you know, he's Disney Channel. He's a good guy. And then he just went up straight BT, straight gangsta up being stage and slap. You know, so it's like, it's just crazy. I know Chris Rock had his sales. His sales went up. Like his tickets went from $400 to $1,000. Like everybody was selling out his tickets. So somebody recorded a clip and posted on TikTok where um, Chris was saying, uh, I'm updating you guys on everything that been going on, everything into one, okay? These are all the updates, what's been going on since this slap happened on Oscar stage, you know? So, yeah, so Chris Rock was on stage and he was like, um, how was my weekend? Well, I'm still processing. Um, I would talk about it eventually. It'll be funny. And it will be serious. And then someone in the crowd yell, talk about it soon, Chris. So I guess people are going to keep buying his tickets and just hope that he talk about it. I mean, you know, everybody want to know how he feel about it. The man got slapped up on stage. How do y'all think he felt about it? He felt hurt and disrespectful, disrespected. But he know he had to push a button for Will, America good guy, to get up there and slap him. He know that he messed up and he was wrong. He was bullying Jada and Will had enough. As her man, he went up there and defend her. I heard a new statement came out where Jada said, allegedly, allegedly, Jada said uh, she didn't need Will to support her, to, to, um, she did, to protect her. Um, she could protect herself. She's not the type of chick that needs someone to protect her. So your man got up stage and risked his whole entire career to defend your honor. And you're saying you didn't need him to protect you? Well, Heffa, when you saw him got up, you should have told him to sit down. You should have took him and say, sit. 
Or you should have said, babe, where you going? She ain't even try to stop the man. She was just sitting there. Like, she don't care. This man just threw his whole career away because he loved that woman. Now, the only thing I see from her is like, okay. He went up there. He slapped him. Okay. <laughs> ain't nobody told him to do that. Well, girl, you gave him the look like, you're really going to see here and let this man disrespect me again? That's the look she gave him. And he went up there and did something about it, you know? <sighs> like, it's just one big crazy situation, you guys. It's just crazy. Yes, yeah, so it's just one big crazy situation. And I pray that in time, Will will apologize to Chris and Chris will apologize to Jada and the Oscars will apologize to Chris. You know, and Will is allowed to keep his Oscar because he worked very hard for that. Like I said, I do believe they should discipline him, but I believe a suspension, couple, five, six years away, you know, from the Grammys, I feel like that's, you know, that that's good, you know, but we'll see, you know, in two weeks, they're going to um, discuss it. And uh, Whoopa Goldberg is on the, the, the Oscar disciplinary board so we'll see what happened so that's all i have for you guys today if you heard about the situation comment down below let me know your thoughts and opinions like i said violence is never is never an answer for anything and it doesn't resolve anything and then also one more thing i wanted to touch on before i go will will and jada's son Jaden, he got a, he tweeted this is how we do it and everybody magically saying like it's just all saying oh he see he supporting his father for slapping Chris. Now, did he put that? Did he do a hands and go like this and said, "This is how we do it"? No, he could be talking about his dad finally winning an Oscar. This is how we do it. How do y'all know that he's talking about the slap? Nobody knows that for sure, but everybody's speculating, right? Speculation will make you look crazy. Don't speculate about things that you don't know. I'm sure he probably was saying, "This is how we do it." Yeah, Dad, you did that. I'm proud of you. That's probably what he meant. But anyways, thank you for listening. As always, stay blessed, divas. Don't forget to hit like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Bye.